Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. <laughs> and it says, Peter and the other apostles said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Hey, that's a good one, isn't it? I'll say it again. Acts chapter 5 verse 29 Peter and the other apostles said We ought to obey God rather than man. Oh, Acts chapter 5 verse 29 Oh, that was very good that one.
Rock. Hello, boys and girls. Hi, kids. Hello, Millie. How are you, Dave? How are you? Oh, fine. Oh, good. Isn't it fabulous the weather we're oh, having? Oh, I isn't love it. it. Hot. It certainly is. Do you isn't know it? the other day? No. It was so hot. Yes. That we all got lolly ices in yep. in the class. Oh, did you? Mm. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Was it was yummy. Mm. I bet you it was. Mm. Oh, lolly ice is in the class. Yeah, are they good teachers to do that? I wish that? I could go to your school. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't fit on the chair, Dave. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You'd probably fall off. <laughs> I, I probably would, yeah. Mm. So what's our story about today? Well, today the title of the story is called The Man Who Looked Into Heaven. Wow. Is that in the Bible? That's in the Bible. It's Are found, you sure? It is. It's found in Acts. I've got the let, Bible let here see, again. Let me see. I don't believe you till I see it. There it is. There's the Bible. There's Acts chapter 6 and 7. Right. Acts chapters. Two chapters? Yes, two chapters. Why are we so long story then? Well, it is. But we've got to cut it short, haven't we, for the boys and girls to okay, understand. Then. Okay. Well, yeah, go on then. We're, well, listen, we're listening, kids. Yes, good. The 12 apostles, they were helping the poor because there was old ladies there whose husbands had died years before. Yeah, I remember and they, you telling us yes, that. Yes, and they couldn't yeah. go to work. So the apostles helped them with food and money. Oh, that was kind. It was, wasn't it? Mm. And, and the people started growing in coming to Jesus. Oh, more and, and more lot, people? Yeah, lots of them were women on their own. And the apostle said, we can't, we can't keep on uh, helping the people with money and food and preaching to them as well, because the time goes. That's right, yeah. Because We need to appoint seven people who are Christians, who love Jesus, yeah. who can help the poor and the needy and the widows, that's those whose, whose uh, husbands have died. While we keep on uh, telling people about Jesus preaching. Oh, so they needed people to be like a practical help. Yes, that's right. And the deep apostles were going to be doing the teaching about Jesus. That's right. Mm, and that's so, clever that. So they, so appointed, they were sharing out the way. That's right. So they appointed seven men. Of one of them was named Stephen. Stephen. Stephen, that's a nice name. It is, isn't it? Mm. Yes. I like that Stephen. name. Stephen. Do you like that name, boys and girls? Stephen. Yes, mm. Stephen. Now, Stephen was really filled with the Holy Spirit. God oh. had chosen him. Oh, that was very, very special. That's very special. Mm. And he was preaching uh, also, as, as he was giving out food and money to help, he was he was telling them how Jesus loved them and how he had care for them. Well, I suppose if people were getting food and, and money and help, mm. they'd wonder why they were doing it. That's right. So Stephen was explaining why they were doing it. That's right. Because he loved Jesus. That's right. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, one day some men um, began to argue with him. Oh, that's not good, is it? No, no. But Stephen stood firm. He was telling them about the Lord Jesus Christ. And they could see that this Stephen had wisdom. Yeah. Yes. He knew what he was talking about. He knew what he was talking he about. He was no idiot. But these men went to the, the high priests oh. and told him, do you know what they did? What we said we, we should never do. They told lies. <gasps> they said, oh, we said we should never, never ever do. lie. Well, they said that Stephen was preaching against Moses 
And he wasn't there. And against all what Moses stood for, and against uh, the, the the prophets that that came to teach the the forefathers, so he was preaching was, against them. He was so what, what, in against, the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. All them stories. Mm -hmm. They said mm -hmm. that Stephen was saying it wasn't right. That's right. <gasps> Isn't That's that terrible. terrible? Why did they do that, Dave? Well, he, he was brought before the high priest. Oh, I don't the like that. High them. priest said, Well, we're getting these complaints. Is it true in what you are saying? In what they were saying, sorry. And Stephen started to preach to them. He said, You and your forefathers killed prophets that came to tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ and about God who we worship. That's right, yeah, because God sent a lot of people in the Old Testament. He said, not they? only that, you also killed his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, on the cross. Gosh, he's he brave. Like he didn't like he's that. He's really brave, Dave. Yes, he, they, he was blaming them now oh. for doing that to Jesus. I bet they were angry. Well, they were They were in uh, uh, right temper and crowds round about were hearing what he was saying and they got angry as well. So much so that they grabbed him and, and grabbed Stephen and took him out of the temple, took him out into the, the wilderness and they started to beat him. Oh, that's not right. I know it's not right. And as they were beating him, his face shone like an angel. Oh. And he looked into heaven. And he said these words, I see heavens open. And Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Oh, that's awesome, Dave. It he is, actually isn't it? He saw into heaven. He actually saw into heaven. And wow. he could see Jesus. Wow. Gosh, I wish I right could see into heaven. God. But that, that annoyed them even more. So much more. So much more. That they started to stone him with heavy stones. Oh, no! Yes. Oh, that must have been really, really painful. Oh, it must have been hitting his head, his body. He'd have cuts all over, the, all over him. And so much so that he fell down on his knees and he said to Jesus, Jesus, forgive them for what they're doing to me. <gasps> Stephen said that? Yes. That's what Jesus said on the cross. That's right. He said, forgive them. Exactly the same. And oh, that's so great, they Dad. stoned him even further. There were more stones coming in, big oh, boulders coming no. in. Must while have he was on his really, knees. Really and it says in God's word, that Stephen died. Oh, that's so sad, Dave. Yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, it makes me worry. Well, die. all the disciples. Because he loved Jesus. That's right. All the oh. disciples and the other helpers, the other six helpers, they took his body and they buried it. Oh, Dave. And they were very, very sad. Oh. Do you think, do you you think see, Stephen Jesus was, knew that? He was going to die. Yes. And so he, he, he came and and told Stephen, I'm here and yes, I'm going to take you right. to heaven. That's right. Well done. Mm. Yes. And, and so Stephen became the first martyr. Uh, he what's was a the, martyr? He was, well, he was the first one to die for loving Jesus oh. and talking about him. Oh, poor Stephen. Mind you, you it would have been very painful for him, but... He would have been better in heaven. That's right. Well, because heaven's fantastic. Even today, in some parts of the world, Christians are hated. Oh. And as the members of the church buried the first martyr, they wept to think that so good a man had been stoned. Oh. But they knew that yeah. Stephen was happy. Yeah, he was better than them, wasn't That's he? That's right, because. Yeah. He was with his saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, and I think Jesus would have given him a big hug, wouldn't he? Oh, what? 
He'd have got a really big hug from Jesus. I think Jesus. they might have been a big party. And a well done, good and faithful servant from yeah. his father God. Yeah. Oh, but it must have been must have been hard for Jesus to watch Stephen being stoned. That's right. Oh. That's right. Oh. It's yeah. sad but happy in one way. Well, I said it was going to be a really happy thing, but very sad at the end, didn't I, mm. last week? Oh. Well... Well, I hope more people come to love Jesus. Yes. Because because of what Stephen said. Yes. But he was very, very brave. Now, once again, there's a couple of questions, boys and girls. One's an easy one, and one's one where I mentioned a name, but hope you remembered and listened to the story. The first one's, on, who listen, listen, was listen. The, what was the name of the man who was stoned to death? And the second question is, what was the name of one of God's people who the people of God, Israel, turned against? I mentioned one name. But he said, said Stephen was talking about, against him. That's right, yes. Yes, I mentioned one name. But it wasn't true, was it? No, it wasn't true, no. They said Stephen was saying bad things about this person. That's right. Mm. Okay? Help the camera that. Mm. That's right, yeah. Oh. Help <laughs> Okay, boys and girls. And don't forget, be good for mum and dad. Be good in school. I try, Dave. And read. I try very at, hard. Well, you try hard. Hello, boy and girl. <laughs> it's JJ <you> again. <laughs> well, we got our memory base again. Oh, how exciting! Well, let me say it for you. Are you ready? Okay. It's found in Acts chapter seven and verse fifty-six. Acts chapter seven and verse fifty-six, and it says this. Stephen said, I see heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Acts chapter 7, verse 56. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a very long one, isn't it? I hope you're going to learn it. Let me say it again. Are you ready? Acts chapter 7, verse 56. Stephen said, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Acts chapter 7 verse 56. Okay, now you say it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, let's say it together one more time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Act chapter seven, verse fifty-six. Stephen said, I see heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Acts chapter 7, verse 56. Hey! It's not so bad, is it? Oh, and what a great story! 
Also, don't forget, remember the memory bed. See you next week, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye!